I doubt more accurately than any prophet here can indicate. My son, have you heard a sentence that has been passed upon your pride? Now have you come here angry at your father? Or are you loyal to me, on my side, no matter what I do? Father, I'm yours. For me, your judgments and the ways you act on them are good. I shall follow them. I'm not consider any man a greater benefit than your fine leadership. Indeed, my son. That's how your heart should always be resolved. To follow your father's judgment on every issue. That's, that's what men pray for. Obedient children growing up at home will pay back their father's enemies, evil done to him, for evil done to them, while honoring his friends as much as he does. Spit this girl out. He's your enemy. Let her marry someone else in Hades. Since I, Carter Clear, is a bank, and she was the only culprit in the entire city, I won't purge myself before a state. No, I'll kill her. So let her appeal to Zeus, the god of blood relationships. Or if I foster any lack of full respect in my own family, I'll surely do the same to those not like to me by blood. For we must obey whatever man the city puts in charge, no matter what the issue. Great or small, just or unjust, for there's no greater evil than a lack of leadership that destroys whole cities, turns households into ruins, and in war makes soldiers break and run away. When men succeed, what keeps their lives secure in almost every case, it's their obedience. That's why we support those in control, so we won't be beaten by, them, by any woman. If you must fall for power, let it come from some man's hand. At least, you won't be called inferior to any woman. Unless we're being deceived by our old age, what you've just said seems reasonable to us. Father, the gods are still good sense in men, the greatest of all things which we possess. I could not find your word somehow not right. I hope that's something I never learned to do. But other words, might be good as well. Because of who you are, you can't perceive all things men say or do toward their complaints. Your gaze makes citizens afraid. They can't say anything you'd not like to hear. But in their darkness, I can hear them talk. The city's upset about the girl. To save all women here, she least deserves the worst of deaths for the most glorious act. While in the slaughter her own brother died, she'd not just leave him there to be ripped apart by carry-on dogs and birds. Surely she deserves some golden honor. That's the dark secret when more people speak. For me, Father, nothing is more valuable than your well-being. For any child, what could be a greater honor to them than the father's thriving reputation? A father feels the same about his son. So don't let your mind dwell on one thought, that what you say is right and nothing else. A man who thinks only he is wise, he can speak and think like no one else. When such men are exposed, all they can see is their emptiness inside. For any man, even if he's wise, there's nothing shameful in learning many new things, staying flexible. You notice how in winter floods, the trees which bend before the storm preserve their twigs. The ones who stand against it are destroyed, root and branch. So permit yourself to change. For I, as a younger man, must stay my views. I'd say it'd be best if men by nature understood all things. If not, and that is usually the case. When men speak well, it's good to learn from them. My lord, if what he said is relevant, it seems appropriate to learn from him. And you too, Haman, listen to the king. The things that you both said were excellent. And men my age, are we then going to the Lord's wise from men as young as him? There's nothing wrong in that. And if I'm young, don't think about my age. Look at what I do. And what you do? Does that include this? Honoring those that act against our laws? I'm not encouraging anyone to respect evil men. And her? Isn't she suffering from the same disease? The people who are thieves all say the same. They deny she is. So to see it now has struck me how to govern. Now you're talking like someone far too young. Don't you see that? Am I to rule this land at someone else's whim or by myself? A city which belongs to just one man is no true city. According to our laws, doesn't the ruler own the city? By yourself you'd make an excellent king. But in a desert, it seems as if this boy's fighting on the woman's side. That's true for the woman. Sorry for you. You're the worst there is. You set your judgment up against your father. No, not when I see you making a mistake of being unjust. Is it a mistake to honor my own rule? You're not honoring that by tramping on the God's prerogative. You foul creature, you're worse than any woman. You'll not catch me giving way to some disgrace. But your words, I'll speak on her behalf. And yours, and mine, and for the gods below. Don't try to win me over, you woman slave. What do you want? Speak and never hear some more apply? You'll never marry her while she's still alive. Then she'll die, and in her death, kill someone else. Are you so insolent? You threaten me? Where's the threat in challenging a bad decree? You'll grant parade what you think like this. You, you'll personally empty your brain. If you are 
not my father, I'm a sailor, not thinking straight. Would you indeed? Well, then, my little miss, I'll have you know you'll be sorry for the meeting with all these insults. Go bring out that hateful creature so he can die right here with him present before a bridegroom's eyes. No! Don't you ever hope for that. Kill my die with me just standing here. And as for you, your eyes will never see my face again. So let your rage charge among your friends who want to stand by you with this. My lord, Haman left in such a hurry. He's angry. And at a young man at his age, the mind turns bitter when he's feeling hurt. Well, let him dream up or carry out great deeds. Beyond the power man, he can't save his girls. Their fates are sealed. Are you going to kill them both? No, not the one whose hands are clean. You're right. How do you plan to kill Antigone? I'll, I'll take her on a path. No people use. Hide her in a cave in the rocks. Still alive. I'll set up provision, as much as piety requires, to make sure the city's not totally corrupted. There, she can speak all the prayers she wants to Hades, the only god she worships for success of avoiding death. Or else, at least you'll learn, although it's too late, that there's no point of worshiping who...